Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel. Tonight, Felipe Tessaro held a quick question and answer, developers question and answer, with players on the Discord. Please check the Discord link in the description below. Now, it starts like uh, Felipe Tessaro saying, considering how much 4.26 screw the game now i am scared to do that now it refers to uh, some um, people saying that uh, is it possible for the isle of rima to switch from uh, unreal engine 4.26 to unreal engine 5 unreal engine for those of you who don't know unreal engine is the uh, creation platform for the isle and just very recently the Isle switched to 4.26 Unreal Engine for from Unreal Engine 4 and soon enough or soon in the future Unreal Engine will become Unreal Engine 5 so that's how it is referring to that basically most of the desync issues from what I understand are coming uh, because the developers switched from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 4.26 now the Unreal Engine 5, it will uh, sure look amazing, but it will uh, bring a lot of problems for the developers to change the version from uh, version 4.26 to version 5, because it means a lot of coding, a lot of recoding for that. Now, if we scroll even down, down below, we can have like uh, Felipe Tesaro answering another question. Hi Felipe, so you are saying 4.26 might have a connection with some of the newer bugs and his answer is like 100% disconnections, audio issues, etc. So switching from to the new version of 4.26 which has a very uh, realistic look for the water interaction let's say it's causing most of the problems. Now, uh, many uh, new things are not yet in game. The developers are working on them, are working hard on them. It's a, a hard topic, let's say. Now, if we continue scrolling down below, uh, Felipe Tessaro will answer another question. Yes, Unreal Engine 5 should cause a small revolution on the industry unless Epic is lying, which I don't believe. Uh, basically, he's saying that, uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, some players, some people up here are saying that uh, Unreal Engine uh, 5, if we scroll up, we need to scroll a lot up, if I remember well, Unreal Engine 5 will be an amazing uh, creation platform. It will be like uh, the next gen, generation uh, creation platform for video games, for uh, movie making, for a lot of things, actually, a lot of things. Not only in video games, this is just a niche for uh, which Unreal Engine 5 can be used or Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, uh, if we scroll down below, we see a new island and to the question of uh, Mr. Fluff here, have you ever thought of what would happen if the game ran on Unity? I mean, we would have truth. Well, I don't understand it, but it would not. Law. I don't understand that. Sorry that if you have any understanding on that, Trusky, I don't, I don't, Trusky, I don't actually understand it. Please let me know in the comment section below because I'm curious. Now uh, we keep scrolling down and we have another. Now uh, Mr. Varzul is saying it also dependent on how much from uh, V4 engine can be integrated into V5 in the, the fifth version of Unreal Engine without screwing with previous coding. So to make it easier transition and not to have to start from scratch again. It's talking about the record for, uh, and Felipe Dessar is answering. Yeah, they say it's full compatibility to swap engines, but makes my spine cold the more I read code changes they are doing. So uh, Unreal Engines, uh, people are saying basically that they have they will have a full compatibility from uh, video games or anything made with uh, the fourth version and the fifth version accept all the previous versions basically. But because the uh, recording in Unreal Engine 5 is going to be uh, tremendous, the change, it's not going to be an easy thing, this compatibility in Felipe Tessaro's opinion, if I understood well. If you uh, have other opinions or if you understood better these uh, swaps, please let me know in the comment section below. Now we keep scrolling and there is another thing. Update 3 is taking a lot of time because of course people ask Felipe, 
when update 3 will come out. Uh, it's, it was supposed to be out at the end of January. Why? Now, update 3 is taking a lot of time. I agree on that. But we are trying to avoid too many odd fixes after it. Some abilities and new systems are causing small issues on old systems. Now, you have to understand that update 3 is about two brand new playables. Two, a flying playable and a swimming playable. So two completely different systems, basically. Plus, plus uh, the Isle Evrima recently swapped, changed from Unreal Engine 4, or whatever it was before, to Unreal Engine 4.26. So it's a lot of things, a lot on uh, this uh, team plate, a lot of uh, things to record, to change for this uh, team of developers for the Isle. Now, and to another question saying, uh, someone else is uh, asking him uh, what to expect in the uh, new changes for the roadmap because they it's been mentioned up, up there, up in here basically, that uh, the roadmap will receive some changes and is answering like, I can't say much, but expect changes in roadmap because of that. Now we keep scrolling down, 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 and we have another kind of Q&A. Felipe, if you know, are there any plans to implement that interactive water that you showcased a few weeks ago in update three? I want it, but those systems are unstable in network environment, also causing performance issues. So we will have to create a better system like Fortnite did. It's about the water system for uh, Unreal Engine 4.26, which looked very real, looked amazing actually, if implemented in game. And but it's causing a lot of uh, instability. So they are working on it. It is just uh, not going to be implemented now. Maybe in the future. Okay, um, we continue scrolling basically to make the thing quicker. Okay, update 3, Mr. Brandoid, Mrs. Brandoid is saying update 3 is taking a lot of time. I agree on that, but we are trying to avoid too many hot fixes after it. Some abilities and new systems are causing small issues. Uh, well, that wasn't the whole point, this one is thing. And Felipe is answering to uh, people that are like eager to play update number 3 with Yes, but record isn't done. We are adding two completely new dinosaurs, well, what I said before, to the game base, a flying and a swimmer one. Those two dinos are the foundation for new ones of the same kind. So after Dinosuchus and Pteranodon will be implemented in game, like as surprise new dinosaurs in the future in patches or even in the roadmap, we can expect new flyers, new swimmers, and that's gonna be amazing. I am very curious what the roadmap on Trello will look like in a month from now, or maybe in a couple of months, who knows. Uh, now, another, Felipe, what about the tail physics? About tail physics, it's about uh, Stegosaurus, very likely. Now, not a priority thing, honestly, but I will go back to that when time allows. Now, uh, as you know, the uh, tail physics for the uh, let's say, what is it, for the Stegosaurus, uh, it, it does have some weird physics, like it, it's, it goes a little bit farther than it should and you can bite the tip of the tail and do damage. And I think it refers to that. If you have a different idea or if I have missed something, please let me know in the comment section below. And the Q&A continues. Like, uh, Mr. Terra Naturau, or Mrs. Terra Naturau, do you know if Amarox work with inverse kinetics could come with update 3? Sorry for the question spam. Okay. Now, uh, inverse kinetic is like, usually when you are on a slope, you have your two feet that looks like this. With inverse kinematics, or kinetics, kinematics, your two feet will look like this. Basically, uh, the animation will be more rigged Will, you'll have more a natural looking on a slope. You will look more natural on a slope than looking like this, with one foot on the ground and the other foot on the air. So inverse kinematic will add extra realism to the game. Now, do you know if Amarok's work with inverse kinetics, inverse kinematics could come with update three? 
Felipe is answering, we wanted to, that is why he's spending some time on that too, but IK seems to not be good enough uh, yet. Maybe it will be implemented, maybe not. Now, uh, the Q&A continues, and Mr. or Mrs. Antakent is saying, is asking, Felipe, will water physics come in update 3? Interactions, you mean probably not in update 3, because uh, physics for water physics or water interactions, as Philippe is saying, uh, they are more complicated. Uh, it's referring about the, four, the Unreal Engine 4.26 water, which is amazing. Check it out, just digit Unreal Engine 4.26 water, and you will have a rough idea on how cool that looks like. Now, Felipe, what's your favorite dinosaur and why? El Pader, I don't have a favorite. All right, I think, fair enough, I would have answered the same if I were a developer. You cannot, like, tip the balance. Felipe, will therapeutes have different uh, inverse kinetics than quads? Uh, I mean, when something stands on two legs, they try to stay parallel to the horizon as much as possible, not aligned with the terrain. Yes, I agree, they should have different systems. Yes, basically. Four-leg dinosaurs must have different systems or different looks than uh, two-leg dinosaurs. Two-leg dinosaurs look four different than four-leg dinosaurs on a slope uh, because, well, they have four legs and the others have just two. Now, uh, uh, Daltonius, okay, yeah. okay, someone is saying that he loves Stegosaurus. Basically, Felipe is saying, lol, I like Stego, but I can't state as favorite, of course. Uh, now, Felipe is continuing with the Q&A and he's saying, will teleporting and kicking from server bug be fixed? Now, this, this is a very interesting question, Antakent, because teleporting and kicking from server and stutter and bugs and all the likes, it's a big bother to all players and even to developers. Now, we are working with Q&A with quality assurance testers on that. The problem is that there is absolutely no information on server logs, no reason, no way to replicate. It is like a ghost. Uh, so I hope they manage to find the problem and to sort it out. At the moment, it's a mystery even for developers on the why, why it's happening, teleporting and kicking. Maybe it does have something to do with corpses on the ground, with more dead bodies, with more players in game. But nobody actually knows that. And everybody's guessing, but nobody knows that. Now we continue like here and some people do questions that I don't understand because I'm very ignorant on many things. Now, Vila, what do developers need to make the Isle a huge open world with thousand players? Uh, I mean, like the big map in uh, Lyft. Okay, like uh, multiplayer online role-playing games. Completely change how the server system works, making it very expensive, which means no custom servers. Okay, very likely if you want to make a world, an open world, like with thousands of players in it, it's a different system. It's a different, you will need a different uh, type of, I don't know, the storage systems somewhere in the world with different connections. I mean, it's very expensive, basically saying. So I don't think it will ever be implemented in the aisle because there are many custom servers, starting from uh, Teutonic, which is a no rule from my point of view, to Dinosauria, to other uh, servers that are customs, they are not official. So they are very expensive and maybe uh, they will never be like with thousands of players, but this is my opinion. Please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Okay, uh, we continue down here. Let's see if Felipe says something else. Yes, we know this connect is related to the amount of players, but still investigating the main reason. So the more players are in a server, the more likely it is you get disconnected. Um, okay, that's a pattern, but they cannot say that for sure. Now, Felipe, what is the change on the roadmap? I can't say now. Now I am curious, what's going to be a change in the roadmap? Will they add, I don't know, more flyers, more swimmers? Will they add the Minmi or the Bepiaosaurus as aquatic? Will they add the Quetzalcoatlus for flying animal? 
we don't know now or m maybe they will uh, schedule the elder system ahead I mean elders will come with update 5 straight away as soon as diets are finished so the elder system will be implemented because update 4 is about perk systems update 5 is about diet system diet mechanic so it means uh, with perks and diets we can have elders already which is kind of having a progression mechanic in game that would be awesome but that's my guess please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below again now uh felipe is all of update 3 going to be an open beta uh, sorry what okay uh, i understood the question we go down below so uh felipe what's the plan for the beta of update 3 because everybody's heard that update 3 will not come out officially at start it would be a beta first that you will have to select but that's all rumors or that's well that's actually what developers have said a couple of times so is it gonna be a beta or it's gonna be an official uh, release immediately update number three now it's like going to be released before things have gone through balance test and such or will it be afterwards basically so probably yes so probably uh it would be released as a beta first the update three very likely now Varzul is asking again, could it be related to the amount of players in a given tile area on the map that does spring to mind as possibility? Um, now, could it be related the uh, the sync issue to the amount of players in a given tile area? Now, Isla Spiro is, divi is divided in tiles, in sectors for developers. If you uh, have to create the game, you have tiles, you have sectors maybe uh suko swamp i have no idea but suko swamp may be one tile or maybe composed by two tiles now could it be related to the amount of players in a given tile area on the map now felipe desari is answering like don't see the relationship but yes everything is possible they are trying to figure out what the problem is because it's like a ghost as felipe said so the sync issue is actually a big issue that nobody can identify now antake is asking again Felipe you developers look at all suggestions on general feedback now they wish I think they wish to but they cannot they don't have time to read if they they have to record they have to uh, write they have to think what to code they have to think what uh, the models and rigging system look like I mean it's a lot of work plus they have their life too uh, but so they look at some of the suggestions they cannot look at them all they need honestly would be cool to have people to filter stuff to pass to us it is impossible to work and read so many stuff yes i uh, that was uh, understandable i guess but it must be someone that knows its job basically or someone that knows what to filter and what to keep well someone that knows what to do basically now uh that another question is rick the enthusiastic like uh, what if some of the desyncs are caused by the amount of bodies left around at a given time now i think that might be one of the problems but felipe is answering possible but yet why it wasn't happening with servers with 150 players in update 2 2 now um 150 players this can be arguable because it is true it was about 150 players in one server after update 2 got released the first days the last day of november the first days of uh, december like 150 players constantly playing but they were either new players or veterans from legacy they were not players constantly playing Evrima that uh, nowadays uh, like to bodyguards or to uh, kill on sight because they are kind of bored because it's always the same. So it was not people that was like living carcasses. You did, uh, you killed someone, you actually ate it. That's what I think at least because it didn't happen with 150 players in update 2 didn't happen because 
people killed for food and if a few people killed for fun and they left the body there was always i bet a new player that was saying oh that's a fresh corpse over there why is it still there and that new player went there because wasn't able to actually hunt adriosaurus or to actually hunt another player because it was new now that's my explanation but it can be very arguable i understand it please know what please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below uh now uh, the q a i think it continues somewhere here now could have something to do with a combination maybe bodies and server decay work together dropping performance basically it's still about the, the sync issue that uh, could it be like the, the sync issue a combination of bodies that bodies and server decay work together dropping performance and the servers start to decay and break for other people it can be a possibility it says well yeah we have several theories and stuff to test but all that causes more and more delays it is frustrating yes i understand them because people are very eager to play update number three and yet developers have to uh, do some kind of new coding about uh, uh kit pop with uh unreal engine 4.26 to keep up with the release of denosuchus and all and Teranodon and all the fishing mechanic it creates a lot of bugs and they have to fix them on the go so it's a lot of things a lot of uh they must be tired in a few words so they need time they i bet my bet is that developers are just waiting to finish uh to release update number three and then they will focus on the desync issue before starting to go on update four if they haven't started update four yet now okay what about it i have to go meeting about perks so i guess they are going to talk about perks the perk system may be easy to create maybe i don't know but it's gonna be a very problematic area for the quality assurance testers for balance purposes now guess that was all for today if you like these uh, short speculations my speculations on the questions and answers of felipe tessaro please let me know in the comment section below like the video share it subscribe my channel if you haven't done that yet thank you so much obrigado felipe and adeo bye bye